Hey guys, I'm Kent. This is my new toy. I have not rode it yet. Just got it out of the box. I did a lot of research on electric skateboards. So in my opinion, this is the second best pre-built electric skateboard on the market. Um, this is an Evolve electric bamboo skateboard with a bust-in deck on it. It's basically just like the Evolve bamboo series. But this is a limited edition um, with a bustin' deck, which is a couple inches longer than the regular Evolve bamboo deck, and it has one inch longer wheel span. But everything else is pretty much identical, even the weight. It's 22 pounds, it's a 40 inch long deck, 30 inch wheel span goes about 23 miles an hour about 9.3 miles on a single charge it takes about four hours to recharge it has a single motor drive system the reason I say it's the second best is because the, the very best is the new Evolve GT series which has dual motors smaller motors but a lot more high powered motors and better batteries and so forth. This board, new, is $1,360. I was lucky enough to get this one for $800 on eBay. They're pretty hard to find. I almost purchased a mountain board shipped from China for about $100 less than this. And it had dual motors and bindings and a little bit lower board, stronger motors and faster and more bigger batteries and all that, all that stuff. But it weighed 31 pounds, nine pounds more than this. And also had big knobby tires and I mostly want to use this on the street and on the sidewalk. I've only ever skateboarded like on regular skateboards and the cracks in the sidewalk and the rough blacktop driving me nuts. So I wanted to get some big old tires so it should be a smooth ride. I've never ridden an electric skateboard before. I've never ridden a long board before. That's what this is. I've never ridden an off-road board before. I've only ridden regular skateboards and I'm not a good skateboarder. Right? I just do it to get places. I'm excited to try this out. So you can carry this into a grocery store or, what, or whatever. It's going to get pretty heavy to carry around. So you can also get a bike lock and just bike it to a bike rack. So this is the remote that it comes with. You turn it on by hitting this button. Then you turn the skateboard on by hitting this button. Now when it's flashing slow like that, it's in like a slow first gear. But if you hit the on button again quick, it'll flash fast and you're in second gear. There's only two gears. If you hold it, you'll power it off. This is the reverse button. If you want to switch to reverse, you push it once. Now it's reverse. When you pull this, it'll go in reverse. And then back to forward. And when you pull this trigger, it makes the board go forward. When you pull it. And when you push like this, it breaks it. And apparently this has ABS brakes that, that don't lock up anti-lock brake system it actually recharges the battery a little bit when you brake really bright LEDs I imagine that'll be nice you'll be able to see those in the sun this seems a lot closer to a hoverboard than the other thing that we got that I made a video about <laughs> this the smart board thing and this sh should go a lot faster like 15 miles an hour faster so this should be a lot of fun so whew. all right let's go ride so i've always wanted a hoverboard who hasn't right this should be the next best thing with these big tires i should be able to roll over about anything without feeling too much of it time to wipe out so you can push ride this thing now i want to try that first before just to get used to it Ooh. Those tires stick out so far, caught my heel on it. And they actually say that's how you should begin to ride, just push off it and then, and then give it some gas. So it's not quite such a jolt. Alright, here I go. Woo. 
doing it. Woo! Oh yeah. Going up this driveway, my old skateboard, I would catch that half the time and about fly off my board. Haven't really tested the brakes yet. Just tested the brakes. <laughs> they definitely work. <laughs> Got a slight gradient here going up to this hill. Oh, speed racer. The brakes take something to get used to. I don't know if you saw me use the brakes, I fell off. Should I go reverse now? Oh yeah. It's weird to reverse is backwards on the on the thing. Alright, I'm gonna try to use the brakes now. Back to forward. So the brakes don't work quite as good as I'd like them to. They're definitely anti-lock. Guess if they work too good, you fly off the board. Oh yeah, I'm using them here. Cool. <laughs> you practically gotta pull it and surf to do a sharp turn. I haven't tried the, the faster speed yet. Okay, faster speed on. Woohoo! That's fast. That's fast. <laughs> A little nervous. Love the brakes. Give your, gotta give yourself plenty of room to stop. So that's pretty fun. Definitely a lot smoother than my regular skateboard. It's gonna take some getting used to. I ordered a selfie stick, but this got here before that. And I thought maybe I shouldn't use a selfie stick the first time I try to ride this thing. I'll try to bring the camera with me now. I kill myself. It's really quiet. I mean, you can hear it. You can hear it hum. You can tell it has a electricity. Pretty good. This is the slow mode. Okay, just shift it up to the second speed. Yeehaw! Woohoo! Woohoo! Full speed up a hill, slight hill. Oh dang! <laughs> Pretty fun! Pretty fun! Yikes! Pretty scary. I'm kinda glad I didn't get the really fast one. The faster GT series. The faster GT series is like
more than this. New. I heard some people saying how it's just too much power for them, but there's a lot of gears on it, so you don't got to use the GT mode. Hey. Hoverboarding! <laughs> Alright, let's go on a mission to Walmart. I'm gonna get my backpack. We're gonna try to get an extension cord. I need a selfie stick. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll probably. Ooh! The brakes are so touchy. I'll probably do some more riding videos if you guys like this. Once I get my selfie stick, <laughs> all the way into the garage. The lip is no problem. Just roll right over this lip. Good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna head to Walmart. I'll let you know how it goes. So I'm in Walmart, got the extension cord. It works really good. Love going over those bumps. It's made in Australia. Well, that's where Evolve is from. I believe they had a, they started making long boards first and they started putting motors on them. These things are skateboard killers, but not anymore. All right, on the way home. Made it home before the sun went down. So the red light on your remote control will light intermediately on and off when it's 20 to 30 percent battery capacity left. The red light will stay on when you're at 5 percent or less capacity, and the red light will rapidly flicker on your remote when the battery in the remote needs to be changed. I can still feel the cracks a little bit, just like in regular line in your sidewalks. So I can still feel those, but just barely. So it feels so much better than, than riding the regular skateboard. My knee and my back kind of started hurting. Maybe I don't want bindings because I won't be able to move my feet around and readjust as much. I'll have to stay in the same exact spot. So maybe it's nice to not have bindings. My feet were kind of hurting. My back was kind of hurting. My knee was kind of hurting. Um, it's about a mile and a half to Walmart. My back and my knee was already hurting before I even started riding it. So it's been kind of a long day and I'm kind of getting to be an old crashy, crashy man. Um, I prefer my e-bike. It's a lot more comfortable for my old busted butt. But it's very cool to be able to surf down the road. If you want to see how I built my e-bike, I'll leave a link in the description. So anyways, Thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you in the next video. Even though my back hurts, I'm gonna go skate down the street. It's so fun. It's about as loud as it gets. I don't know if you can hear over the wind. I've never gone so fast on a skateboard. It's so cool. It's so cool to have brakes on a skateboard. That's why I never got going that fast on a skateboard. Also, the wobble, my board would start to wobble. This one started to wobble a little bit. And then I had to let off, let off the throttle. But I might be able to tighten up the trucks a little bit to, to fix that. We'll see. Forgot to tell you, I also have snowboarded about five times and I tried to surf a couple times. Sort of surfed, barely surfed. Anyways, those are my board credentials. Goodbye! The remote is a micro USB charged remote. It has a built-in rechargeable battery and it connects via Bluetooth. Let's see if we can test the range on this. I kind of wish the brakes would lock up. Like after they slow you down so much, they don't slow you down anymore. You gotta use your foot to stop. It's gonna go right into the car. Oh, that's as far as it went. It's beeping like it got out of range.